It's 1 p.m. It's the 28th of August 2013. To those astrologers out there who are looking to get a clear view of the world situation, look at the heliocentric chart that's going on now as much as the geocentric chart. Remember, in a heliocentric chart, planets don't go retrograde. So you, what you're seeing is the true position of the planets, not from an Earth-based perspective, but from a Sun-based perspective. And from a heliocentric, Sun-based perspective, right now, Mars in the sky is at 9 degrees of Cancer. It's opposite, Uranus, it's opposite Pluto and square Uranus. And we seem to be heading into war. Again, for the fifth time in 10 years, there's going to be a war in the Middle East, something like that. Something like that. I think it's saber-rattling. I think there's still time to pull back from the swords or the missiles. But until Mars has cleared Pluto and Uranus, which isn't going to be for another three or four days, I'm holding my breath. Okay, that's the, that's, that's the public thing done. Another thing, I've got to get this in because so many people keep asking me now, what's the difference between transits and progressions? Transits are the movements of the planets in the sky to positions of accuracy in your chart. And when those points of accuracy are hit, these transits, these planetary movements in the sky, manifest through the laws of cause and effect as circumstances and events in your life. The outer planets, the invisible ones, take years to manifest. Planets like Jupiter and Saturn can manifest over a period of months, whereas the movements of Mercury, Mars, and to a lesser extent Venus and the new and full moons can manifest in a matter of days or even hours, depending on the sensitivity of the subject to individual planets. Transits work in circumstances and events. Progressions deal with the growth of the soul from within. Nothing to do with external environments, people, situations or developments, solely to do with where you are inside yourself. Primarily, I use the progress sun, which only moves one degree a year, as an indicator of ongoing, slow, gradual changes in identity, sense of individuality, sense of uniqueness. And the progressed moon, which moves 13 degrees a year on average, one degree a month, as an indicator of internal emotional status. And when the progressed moon becomes to aspect with a square or opposition to a planet in your natal chart, then yes, there's going to be an emotional response, albeit only for a month or two. Progressions deal with internal status, not external relationships, careers, health, family, or anything like that. It's to do with where you are inside yourself. Also with progressions, the retrogrades, when planets go retrograde or forward by progression, this is a significant time. And the progressed node works. For some reason, it worked. Why? I don't know. But it does, particularly in terms of life-changing choices in one's life. It points to a much bigger pattern, which we can't hope to understand simply because our brains aren't wired that way. But if we stop thinking and start feeling and using more than our alleged five senses to sense what's actually out there. You can pick up traces of the larger pattern and you can sense the glory and the purpose of the pattern. But mind you, we're starting to get into divinity now and that's not a subject for me as an astrologer. I've already got into too much trouble for that. At the moment, today, the moon's in Gemini. It is sun square moon today. The moon is now square the sun and Mercury. And over the next, Mars has moved into the earth. There's a whole new energy in town. And I think that today's actually quite a proactive go-getting day, as long as there's a sense of moderation. And I do think that in the coming 48 hours, there's going to be a great deal of accelerated communication with the moon in Gemini. Hopefully, in a way that is not warlike. But let's put it this way. When the moon hits Jupiter in three days from now, and opposes Pluto and squares Uranus, and squares Venus, making yet another Grand Cross. I'll be looking to see what develops in three days from now. Until then, think good thoughts. And um, see you soon. Bye.